Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm making chili. This is something I make all the time. It's one of our favorite things to eat. It's easy and pretty cheap and I make it a lot for the tribe. And there's really no secret to my chili. I'll show you the ingredients. I'm going to be using one whole onion, one red pepper. Usually I use green pepper, uh, but the store was out. Um, this is part of a red onion I have left, which I'm going to chop up for to put on the top of it. We've got a pound of beef. We've got garbanzo beans, black beans, and dark red kidney beans, which I'm draining. Uh, I like to use two cans of chili beans, um, just any kind of uh, pinto beans or chili beans in sauce. There's several different kinds. S&W makes one. Uh, my favorite one to use is the Safeway Organic brand, um, but I was shopping at Walmart for this, so I just got these. Um, we're going to use garlic, corn, some olive oil, some diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, garlic salt, regular salt, pepper, cumin, chili powder, and paprika. So I apologize, the lighting is kind of weird in here right now. The sun's going down. And I don't have a tripod or anything, so it's really hard to get a good camera angle for you guys. If you'll bear with okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is chop up this onion and this red pepper. Nothing fancy. I like things really chunky. And obviously you can use less onion if you don't like this much onion, but I really like onions. I usually chop with this little knife because I'm very klepsy and anytime I use a big knife I tend to cut myself so all right we got big big old chunks of onions in there Ooh, I'm starting to cry a little bit okay we're gonna chop up this red pepper I also do these pretty big. Like I said, I like it chunky. This is also a dish that's easily made vegan by just leaving the meat out. I also make it sometimes with ground turkey. really been pretty cold here so I thought nice hot chili would be good it's also Scott and Terry's anniversary today so I didn't want Terry to have to cook on their anniversary although she probably wouldn't mind because she's like me she likes to cook all right I got some very big chunks here maybe too big Tone those down a notch. All right. So now we're going to heat up the pan. I got my big stock pot here. We're going to put some olive oil in there. I'd say probably two tablespoons.
oops, that was quite loud in the trash. That olive oil ran out, but luckily I got another one. I didn't quite get two tablespoons in there. Bandit. Bandit's at my feet begging, of course. You can't have chili. I don't even know what would happen if you had chili. Right, so there's probably two to three tablespoons in there. We're going to add these onions. And the red peppers. We're going to let those saute around in there. Get the spoon. Just saute these on high heat. And I like to do everything in one pan, so I'm just going to throw the hamburger meat right on top of the vegetables when they've cooked for a few. And I like to leave the fat in there instead of draining it out. I buy this really good beef. It's not too expensive and it's worth it. It tastes amazing. Um, but the fat just gives the chili a, a lot more flavor. Let's see if I can get this open without making too much of a mess. It's going to be extra chunky this time because I chopped everything so big. Just like let those soften up a little bit. Stand it. What are you doing, buddy? Here's how those veggies are looking so far. Already smells good. Bandit, what are you doing? You waiting for something to hit the floor? You want some scraps? You can't have chili. You can't have chili. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, calm down. All right, everybody calm down. All right, the dogs have decided to freak out. I lost my good camera angle. Alright, those have softened up a bit, so now I'm going to add the hamburger in. wash my hands real quick. I'm paranoid about meat juice. I don't like meat juice to get on my hands. I'm gonna smash this up. And then once the hamburger is cooked, we're just gonna add every dump everything else in. get my spices ready. Make sure that will fit in there yet. 
I don't just sprinkle them in. I gotta add in a lot. So I like to take the little lids off, make it easier. Oh, I almost forgot. I gotta put this garlic in. Probably do probably two to three tablespoons. I like a lot of garlic. It's good for you. I don't think there's anything I cook where I don't add a ton of garlic. hamburger is almost cooked. Now I'm going to add in the corn with the juice. I like to keep the liquid from the corn because I usually do need to add some liquid so I figure the corn corn juice has more flavor than plain water. And then don't drain the chili beans with sauce. Put those in as they are. one can of diced tomatoes and I don't drain those either. We got two cans of tomato sauce. And then I've got my other beans, garbanzo black beans and dark, ki dark red kidney beans which I do drain. So then you just spice it according to your liking. Let it simmer for, I usually do about a half an hour. And then you're ready to go. And you can also make it as thick or as thin as you like. Sometimes I do add a little bit of water. Or if Ed has one of his beers handy, I'll put some beer in there. I think I am going to put a little bit of water in. It's looking very thick. Just a little bit. Okay, now spices. I'm just going to throw those in. Start with cumin. probably two and a half teaspoons of that to start. Chili powder about the same. I do one teaspoon of paprika. Pepper, same thing, about a teaspoon. Well, maybe half a teaspoon to start. We don't want to go too crazy. And then some garlic salt. It might need some regular salt, but we'll wait to see. I usually wait, let it cook for a little while and see how it's tasting. Give it an initial taste just to see where we're at. So I can already tell that we're going to need more cumin. And more chili powder. 
So I think we're up to about a tablespoon each of those and more pepper. And more garlic salt. So like I said, just season it to your liking. I just kind of keep dumping stuff in, tasting it, letting it cook a little bit and adjusting it as I go. It does look really thick right now. I might add some more water, but I'm gonna let it cook a little bit first because it tends to get more liquidy as it cooks. It's looking pretty yummy. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Sorry, the lighting in here right now is terrible. I should have started this earlier. Well, that made it worse. Well, anyway, you get the idea. That's what it's looking like. We're gonna bring that to a boil and let it simmer. I usually put the lid on part way just to keep it from splattering all over the stove. Probably simmer for about 30 minutes. And then I like to add chopped red onions on top and cheese, of course. And you could also do sour cream, avocado, chips, whatever you like. That's it. Super easy and delicious. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Well, I did it again. I forgot to film what it looked like when it was done. So here's what it looks like after we've all scarfed down on it. Looks really good. Terry, yeah. thank you. Terry, who wasn't supposed to cook, of course, made cornbread and salad. And all I did was show up. <laughs> was just awesome. Deborah showed up. Hi. And she ate. Aj is asleep. She's tired. <laughs> so we'll save her a bowl. <laughs> That's true. We never run out of food. So I keep doing these cooking videos, Terry, and then I forget to film it when it's done. <laughs> so there it is. It was